Hello and welcome to a look at the Sortino Ratio with me, Andy Duncan, here at Finlingo.com. The Sortino Ratio is a refined version of the more widely known Sharp Ratio. Back in 1959, when Henry Markowitz developed his modern portfolio theory, even he said that downside deviation was more important than total price deviation. Investors welcome upside deviation and only really dislike downside deviation. So what does any of this mean? Well, if we take a look at the annual returns on this 10-year chart, let's say we put in a line where an investor's happy with an annual return of anything over 5%. We call this line the Minimum Acceptable Return, or MAR for short. You can see the points above the line are quite erratic. The points below the line are much less erratic. But as potential investors, surely we're happy with these huge high performances, even though they're quite erratic. What we really care about is how much those points move about below the line of minimum acceptable return. And we want that deviation to be as low as possible. Markovitz and then later William Sharp in 1966 used total deviation before computers really got going because it was much easier to calculate. But with the Sharp ratio, this high upward deviation gives us a low Sharp ratio, even though those high returns are a good thing. That's where Frank Sortino came in in the 1980s. He gave us a much sharper ratio than the sharp ratio, and he only used downside deviation. And the lower this figure, the higher and better the ratio becomes. Here's how we did it. Let's move those points across to a cunning spreadsheet. First of all, I put in a minimum acceptable return and set this figure to 5%. Then we put in all the annual returns. Now we work out the differences between all the returns and the MAR. Next up, we square only those differences which are negative. Then we sum those up and divide that sum by 10, which is the total number of returns. When you square root that number, you get to a downside deviation. So now we can work out the Sortino equation. So that's the return of the portfolio, take away the MAR, and then all divided by the downside deviation. In many cases, the risk-free return is assumed as the minimum acceptable return. If it is, then we can simplify the equation to look a lot more like the Sharpe ratio. Back on the spreadsheet, if we use the current annual return of 17% and take away the MAR of 5% and then divide that by the downside deviation of 2.05, we get to a Sortino ratio of 5.86. Let's do a funky question now on Finlingo. Here we've got a portfolio return of 17.22%, an MAR of 1.30%, and then a downside deviation of 27.49%. On another incredible spreadsheet, we can do the calculation. We take 1.30 away from 17.22 to get to 15.92, and then we divide that by 27.49. And now we have a Sortino ratio of 0.579. Head on over now to finlingo.com to get an infinite number of questions on how to calculate both the Sharp Ratio and the Sortino Ratio. You'll find these and hundreds of other CFA style questions, which you can use on a website, a tablet, or even on a phone. Finlingo. Speak finance fluently.